Get ready for marketing insights, business strategies, and growth tactics from the original founder and marketer of The Daily Dose, no matter what those other guys claim. He's the original marketing entrepreneur who helped bring big business, media, marketing, and the public sector to the internet, while keeping government happy and away from overregulation of the digital age. And he's got the savvy and proven experience to help any business grow and succeed. You're listening to Marketing Insights with your host, Yasha Harari. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Marketing Insights. I am joined this week by a very special guest, Yael Rosenswag. And Yael, among other things, is currently the president of Blockchain Israel. And I really want to get her remarkable insights about all of that and actually dig into some other things uh, that I think are even more significant on the whole when you look at how that fits into the bigger picture. So Yael, hi and welcome to Marketing Insights. And uh, thanks. thanks. For having me. Yeah, thanks. Uh, welcome to a marketing uh, show that talks about crypto quite a lot and talks about the Internet of Things and many other fascinating topics happening in the, the world of the Internet and technology. So thanks for being one of our uh, awesome guests here. And, and I'd like to, to start with you. Uh, if you could let us know a little bit about yourself, you know, where you come from, and how you got into this whole world of blockchain and how you ended up actually running Blockchain Israel for now. Sure. Um, so I'm, I'm an entrepreneur for almost 17 years already. Um, I've been traveling a lot between uh, Paris, London, New York, and now in Israel, in Tel Aviv, essentially. Um, I've started my career, you know, for the digital marketing, building infrastructures for big brands. Um, and four years ago, I, I decided to turn into the blockchain as you know a project came on the table and just you know was like blockchain and IOT so um, I decided to to get started uh, and better understand what's going on with the cryptocurrencies as well um, it wasn't so hype as we as we know it today um, and very few people around the world knew about it um, so I decided, you know, to better um, get into it through the technical aspects. Um, since I started, you know, I was like, uh, I started my career as a coder. Um, I was like coding websites. Um, I was better involved, you know, in everything regarding designing infrastructure for telecommunication tools and networks. Right. Um, so I find myself, you know, in a world that I deeply understand, but like, you know, from the basics. Yeah, I think that's fascinating. I mean, you came at it from a, a technical perspective. Um, when there's, of course, nowadays, I, you know, just a guess, but probably the overwhelming majority of people interested in blockchain appear to be speculators. I would probably guess, um, you know, who are looking at the market as a as an investable device or an investable asset. Uh, but you actually came at it from sort of, you know, closer to the root of the tech side of, you know, how do we develop this? And that's, that's just, an, you know, an interesting path, obviously, uh, as one of the early adopters, that, that makes a lot of sense. Um, so how did you yeah. come, how did you come into the world specifically of blockchain Israel? Did you just approach the, you know, um, somebody at, in within the blockchain sphere and say, hey, I want to, you know, I want to step into this role? Or what was sort of the key well, to your getting into this role? I, I came in like um, something that is like not really conventional. Um, four years ago, when I got back to Israel, um, I I got into um, I find myself be becoming a mentor at Google, and I uh, I decided to better understand what's going on with um, IoT product management, and, yeah. um, all the technical aspects that we can you know um, deal with uh, intercommunication between tools. Um, and, and, and in between all, you know, discovering new startups, new ideas, new projects, um, two years ago, I decided, you know, to start a new startup and one of the main, one of the main aspects of the startup was to deal with blockchain, all the, uh, the security aspects, all the infrastructure to come up with new communication tool in between the devices. Right. Uh, and, um, and, and, and then after a year after starting, uh, I find myself, you know, um, 
I had to <laughs> find new new collaborators, and I figured out that you know I don't know anybody in this field. So um, we with a few friends, and after talking, you know, with mentors at Google and consulting everywhere, you know, so in between Paris, London, and Tel Aviv, I was like, okay, let's make maybe you know a meetup, and the story. Um, started over there, um, we created um, um, a first meetup, um, 400 people came in, huh. just, you know, by announcing, yeah. hello guys, we're blockchain, we're going to talk about cryptocurrency and blockchain technologies, right. and that was the first meetup, and then after everything is history, we made already 15 meetups, one successful hackathon, blockchain for social impact, that was two months ago, and... Uh, yesterday, actually, we launched the Blockchain Academy together with Microsoft. That's just, that's amazing. That's an amazing, uh, rapid, relatively rapid journey, although I'm sure to you it seems not so rapid. But uh, when you look at that big picture, it's just incredible. It's incredibly fast how much you've done uh, and how much, you know, how much you've done so fast and reached so many people mm -hmm. already. Um, what, what I like to know is... You know, because I want to dig a little deeper to understand really sort of your perspective on the bigger picture of what's going on with blockchain in the bigger world and, you know, how it's really going, how you think it's going to impact not just the investor marketplace, not just necessarily direct uh, business profits or KPIs from a marketing perspective, but, you know, what do you see as the future of the use of blockchain through applications or through, you know, devices or through things that can actually make an impact? So, you know, yesterday I had the same question. Uh, we, 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 when we started, you know, the Academy, we had to observe more um, the facts about what's going on, you know, in the current state. Yeah. Um, I mean, globally. And the missing point of every industry that is starting um, is the knowledge and is the education. Um, so, you know, you have people speculating over cryptocurrencies all the time, every day, you have ups and downs. But in depth, when you, when you look at all the tools that we're currently using to make the exchanges and the, the transactions, uh, we need tools. And without these tools and without the management and the strategy for these tools, um, nothing is going to get well. So um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, you know, every time over again to better understand what is the global mindset. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm putting aside, you know, the regulations aspect because we cannot control them actually. We don't really know, you know, how people are going to behave within the next few months or maybe within the next few years. Right. Um, the point is more about um, how we can create new platforms and new infrastructure that we can adapt and adopt yeah. and, and, and make the most out of it. So currently, um, the, the point is like more um, getting in touch with corporations that are building this infrastructure mm -hmm. that already developed tools and may, you know, already test and, and, and engineer regarding what they have already. Um, most of the market, um, I mean, maybe 70 between 70 to 80 percent of the market currently as we know it i'm not talking about big corporation that can afford them you know to invest in big infrastructure and in tools for um their sales or business drives i'm talking just about you know the 70 percent that are fully traditional markets um small markets essentially family offices or you know um smbs and we can Obviously, today we can, I mean, we can help them with what we created already. So that's what we're trying to create, to create awareness, um, to bring up, you know, knowledge for the tools and the practices. Um, but before that, uh, the premises will be to help the CTOs of these big corporations to drive their business units through new infrastructure, implementing new solutions and creating applications. That's um, really fascinating. Do you, do you see any particular use cases that are being developed that you're, you know, particularly excited about or interested in or, you know, from well, a point of view of development? The fintech, yeah, the fintech, I mean, the fintech world is like literally changing currently. It's, mm -hmm. I mean, um, 
because we're dealing with cryptocurrencies and yeah. we need um, to implement immediately as fast as we can new solutions for exchanges. Yeah. Um, this 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 field is like really moving fast. The healthcare industry is also changing. It's like a paradigm shift, if I can call it. I mean, we already we already saw um, several um, changes and revolutions in the health industry. Um, more recently, we have you know the biologists, the security in hospitals, everything related to from I mean to the doctor to a patient and uh, the prescriptions and all the organization around the patient. Um, is like now getting more digital and that digital that digital transformation which was driven for many years I mean already in the health industry um, is like shaping you know the future um, of the healthcare industry so we have uh, these fields I can have maybe the gaming industry that is like literally changing because you can use a currency a new virtual currency or assets or new wallet that are going to secure your credits and you know you have new aspects new exchanges in between people mm -hmm. which is like a very good drive for building a community and you know more engagement and uh and by the end more growth wow it's, uh... so the blockchain industry is like literally shaking you know our world and that's that's fascinating yeah i mean gaming is obviously one of the most popular you know areas it's all whenever there's new tech Gamers are right there, yeah. and then other you know gamblers and casinos, oh, all that yeah, stuff. Are, they're all moving into that space because they see its uh, its potential. Uh, they they love being early adopters with tech, but I find the other uh, areas like you mentioned fintech and some applications uh, are are really interesting. Um, and I think it's the impact on the amount of people in the world who currently don't have you know great financial uh, resources or access even to them. Uh, blockchain is just doing remarkable things and when like you said all those applications come to fruition i think we're going to be looking at a very very different and interesting world uh where hopefully more people will be empowered and it's it's just incredible um all of that yeah. um so so you spend it sounds like you spend you know most of your time like you said networking with the businesses and not at all the regulators at the moment um but obviously as you know running blockchain israel it's registered as an association right well, now it's an organization. Organization, uh, right? Profit. Right. So, um, so that means that you will you will be. I mean, you are well poised to be in contact with the regulators when the time comes, right? So you probably, I guess, maybe you're not talking about it, or if you are talking about it, are there any regulators or government, you know, people that you've spoken to anywhere on earth about blockchain and the importance, you know, of the impact that it will have, or is that something that you just have they not shown you any interest yet? Because they're just not, you know, they don't have, they don't have a clue yet or something. Um, I, I, I mean, obviously we have uh, many contact with the regulations um, institutions and we are in touch with many, many European um, countries already. Um, and yeah. as well as in Israel, as, and yeah. as well in the US. The yeah. point is that for now, because, I mean, the world is changing. Yeah. Um, we we have more and more um, propositions thanks to the fact that people are learning more about blockchain and the capacities and the yeah. limits that it has. Yeah. Um, so I I am more under overlooking what's going on um, and expecting you know a few new regulator to um, you know to to sh to show us the new limits the new limitation that we can where we can use the cryptocurrencies and they can make exchanges. Um, as for yeah. now, um, I mean, the state of the world is more focused on how to tax and yeah. how to control the exchanges. So, um, you know, some kind of organization uh, and, and we can, um, you know, set up new infrastructure and, um, and monetize all this. Mm -hmm. um, the, I mean, I, I saw many pilots already. Yeah. Um, on the market sure. proposition already. Yeah. Um, I'm more in touch with France and the UK and recently, you know, I was in the Balkans. They yeah. have a lot of proposition. Yeah. But the countries that need and can um, obviously adopt new regulations are countries with um, a small population yeah. 
and where everything is like digitalized. So if you take, for instance, um, European countries like France or, um, or I mean, maybe in the US, it's going to be way more complicated thanks to the population that is like obviously bigger, but also because, you know, um, the infrastructure, if we um, imagine um, the voting systems, if we imagine the application that we can make through the blockchain, um, or case studies like we saw with the refugees, it's going to be obviously longer yeah. um, in countries with more um, populations and a, a big growth, so um, and serious growth. Um, so we are trying to find case studies that we can plan and product here in Israel. Right. That's what we do currently right. Right. Um, during our hackathon. The last hackathon was like blockchain for social impact. Yeah. Uh, we we draw challenges um, under um, five aspects: uh, the energy, the voting systems, uh, governmental systems, and um, diversity and social more social impact. You know, um, so all these aspects we're trying to better understand what's going on and make by ourselves the proposition that we see. You know, regarding what we can leave and what we can observe and and the insights that we get. So um, we're, I mean. We're, we come from a from an angle that is like a bit different from um, those who are trying to regulate the market um, because we have more practice we're more in touch um, with you know reality let's say um, let's say it clearly yeah um, regulator today need cases obviously right so um, we have our role and the mission of blockchain Israel today is like to shape the market and demonstrate what we can do and what we cannot do and help these people develop new solutions so we can you know come up with new solutions and, and practice so so that i mean that sounds i have so many questions to ask you about what you just said that's i want to unpack that but it's going to take forever so i'll, I'll just give you uh my, my next thought about it which is do you see a role for uh let's say non other non-profits who aren't tech nonprofits, but let's say a charity, I don't know, the Red Cross or the, you know, uh, UN, yeah. uh, UNICEF or any of these huge nonprofits or even smaller ones that are focused on local communities and maybe they're even more impactful. Do you see a role for them if they have the resources to actually develop their own blockchain app or do you think it would be a wiser use of resources for them to use existing blockchain technology and evolve that, you know, do you need, do you, do you think the world needs 10,000 coins or, you know, do we have enough coins with which to work in a healthy environment and build the ecosystem? Yeah, indeed. Um, the bigger, I mean, let's, let's take, for instance, you know, uh, UNICEF, um, the world economic forum, uh, red cross, all, all these organizations uh, worldwide connected um, need um, initiative, social initiative to create impact. Yeah. And for these social initiatives, I mean, you know, several communities, when you take, for instance, um, the, the, the latest, if I can call it a campaign or more initiative for from the World Economic Forum for the Refugees, um, blockchain was adapted to a system where it was like almost there was like almost nothing the 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 the, the project was to drive um and to name um and to help actually all the value chains that is um some kind of applicable on a refugee camp um that was a premiere already two years ago and now we can observe small initiative getting into and using the blockchain so um it's popping everywhere worldwide. Um, it's not always understandable from the, I mean, personal perspective. But when we come up with uh, solutions that is based on blockchain for communities, it's like immediately adopted. So th that's a strategy. Uh, there is a strategy behind. We, we need to find a, some kind of a methodology and more, again, more insights and, you know, to drive the KPIs and, and, and find new solutions and new and, and get more results. But what I see is that blockchain is literally connected and deeply connected to social impact world. Yeah. And that's that's really important to mention. 
Yeah, absolutely. Because they have already the communities, so it's like obvious to get there. Yeah, and the like you said, the, the impact. I mean, it, it could really be a very deep and, and, and significant reach, Absolutely, a meaningful yeah, reach. And I, it's immediate, yeah, yeah, immediate effect, yeah. Um, um, I I know you're busy, but I got a couple more questions I got to ask you, and then oh, and then uh, and then we'll we'll try to get towards the end here. Um, one thing I wanted to know is, from your perspective, where would you recommend, let's say, crypto newbies to go to to get into the world properly? Because you know, I came at it from a completely different angle. Which is all about business development, you know, innovation, innovative ideas, and a strong focus on marketing uh, and developing apps that have utility for a marketing perspective in crypto. Uh, but from a tech or you know developer point of view, and the things you're really focused on, which are to building this utility properly um, in a whole ecosystem, where would you recommend as the sort of authoritative places people can either go and learn or get into it or how do people you know get jobs in crypto you know how are you encouraging younger brighter minds to get into this world or maybe even older brighter minds to get into this world and make their difference make their contribution um sure um there is no age to get into the blockchain depending mm -hmm. on the aspect that you will choose it's, yeah. it can be the more the development more the business side on the business model side we have to find new models um adapted you know to the new world so that's right. that's an that's the new shape that i see mm -hmm. new option um so everywhere i think actually we have plenty of resources you know on the social media channels and mm -hmm. that's great Right. Um, you have guys, you know, you have amazing guys, bloggers that are just literally explaining how it goes from the basics up to, you know, infinite uh, content explaining more in depth what's going on with the development side. Um, you know, you have the um, Hacker Noon that is like uh, sharing a lot of insights. Right. Many authors are uh, mentors of ours. Um, we're trying, you know, to develop also new channels and new marketplaces of and knowledge knowledge bases, you know, currently. Um, I know that um, without, you know, mentioning too much, Microsoft, IBM um, have plenty of resources on their own websites. So, right. I, I mean, being curious is not, um, it goes without saying, but yeah. the thing is that um, what I saw recently, what I'm mentioning, what is really important is that um, ask questions, guys. Yeah. It's like really important. Yeah. Go um, and go on Facebook, go on every website, I mean social website that you can and ask questions. Yeah, there there are plenty of meetups all around the world. Yeah. I know that in San Francisco, I know that in New York, I know it also, also in and, Tel Aviv, Paris, London, everywhere, Shanghai. Everyone is like on the hype with blockchain. Learn by the others and 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 again, you know, if you have ideas project you can drop us a line ask us everything we will know literally we have plenty of mentors here everyone is like you know uh, super happy to to help um ask questions it can be you know from the crypto website from the crypto apps aspect sorry to up to you know blockchain development and implementation on ethereum yeah. solidity whatever um it's really important you know so people can get a bit more connected and more engaged, yeah. So, so basically, they could join, let's say, the Blockchain Academy, also, right? And and yeah. and through there, contact the mentors or the people that are in the in the organization already. Uh, so you didn't even, I mean, I'm, right? Blockchain. That's one of the. That's probably one of the resources that's so obvious to you. You didn't mention it, but I want to make sure you you yeah. tell people a little so bit about that. Art, um, everyone can join. We have a, a you know a series of upcoming meetups in 2019. We're going to share yeah. the first batch of the academy that we are currently driving. It's yeah. a pilot, and we're sure that you know it's going to get even bigger. We already closed the second batch, the second class that is starting on January 2019. Yeah. So that's super exciting. We have also a hackathon, and we think about you know making more hackathons around the world. Yeah. Um, and as well, you know, plenty of workshops, plenty of meetups, and um, whoever has, you know, a simple question or even a project, we can connect them. It's going to be... That sounds very, awesome. Very well, I'm just going to ask you, last question here, and uh, answer it however you like, uh, but I want to first of all thank you so much again for, for taking nice the time to, to speak with us. Um, My pleasure.
I want to uh, I want to get your perspective on where do you see blockchain in five to ten years, and what is it that inspires you to move towards that place? Um, tough question. I think that I see the some merging points with uh, between blockchain, AI, cybersecurity, and other fields, obviously. I'm not sure that blockchain will cover the whole world um, and all the infrastructure by blockchain based will cover the, um, the, the next generations you know, of infrastructure. What I'm pretty sure about is that um, blockchain is going mainstream. Um, people can, I mean, can more easily get into it. It's, it's not that it's less complicated, it's just you know, the mindset is like getting um, maybe more open. Um, the point is that within the five next years, I think that there is there's going to be a serious revolution in the adoption of blockchain um, solutions. Um, and I think that the point for every customer, every person that I'm meeting is like more to secure the personal aspects and um, secure personal assets, but also um, being more fluid between the transaction that we as we know them now that are a bit too heavy and a bit too weight. Yeah. Wow. Uh, moving. Yael, thank you so much again for joining us. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure. pleasure and I'm um, looking forward to following what you're doing and all the exciting things and, and hopefully coming to some meetup and, uh, you know, uh, following up with you in the future. Of course, you're welcome back anytime. If you have more exciting new things to tell us, we'd be absolutely thrilled to have you. So, Thanks again, no and take care, and, and shalom, right? That's right. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.